Never blame anyone in your life. The good people give you happiness. The bad people give you experience. The worst people give you a lesson. The best people give you memories. Ito pong topic na ito ay nakuha ko sa website ng www.higherperspectives.com and I hope na makatulong or maka-inspire sa inyo. So, keep on listening and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification for more topic like this. Never blame anyone in your life. Here is the five simple ways to deal with manipulative people. Manipulation is defined as a type of social influence that aims to change the behavior or perception of others through abusive, deceptive, or underhanded tactics. Ibig sabihin, once na nabagong attitude or decision mo sa buhay or everyday task ng dahil sa ibang tao, sa pamamagitan ng pag-abuso or panluloko na again sa damdamin mo, to napapasok ang manipulation. It is important to know the difference between healthy social influence and manipulation. When we say healthy social influence, it occurs between most people and is part of the give and take in healthy relationships. I-quote ko po ulit. Pag, sabi, pag sinabing healthy social influence, papasok po doon ang term na give and take, healthy or magandang relationship sa mga taong nakakasalamuhan natin. In a manipulative relationship, one person is used for the benefit of another. Meaning, sa manipulated relationship, ikaw or siya lang ang nagbe-benefit. Kabalitaran ng healthy social influence. The manipulator deliberately creates an imbalance of power and exploits the victim to serve his or her agenda. So, automatic na kapag inabuso ka na or sobra na yung ginagawa niya, papasok na siya sa manipulative relationship. All manipulators share some common characteristics. They know how to detect others' weaknesses. Once found, they use these weaknesses against you. They convince you to give up something in order to serve their self-centered interests. Kaya hindi mo dapat basta ipakita sa ibang tao kung anong weakness mo kasi magagamit nila yan para abasuhin ka nila. Whether it, it's a work or social or family situation, once a manipulator succeeds in taking advantage of you, he or she will repeat the violation until you put a stop to it. So, how do you deal with the manipulator and put a stop to their manipulation? Here is the five simple ways to deal with the manipulator. Number one, know your self-worth. Knowing your self-worth and standing up for yourself are two important keys in dealing with the manipulator. The more you allow someone to drag you down, the more your self-worth will suffer. To protect your self-worth, remember your basic human rights. The right to be treated with respect. The right to express your feelings and opinions. The right to say no without feeling guilty. The right to protect yourself from being physically, emotionally, and mentally harmed. And the right to live a happy, healthy life. Yan ang basic human rights na dapat natin tandaan. Once na merong na-violate dyan, papasok na siya sa manipulative relationship. Number two, say no and mean it. Say no when the manipulator is trying to get you to do what you don't want to do. And mean it. Hindi yung magsasabi ka ng no, nasuyo ka lang, nalambing ka lang, nauto ka lang, at the end, mababa, mababali din o wala yung no mo. Kailangan, pag nagsabi ka ng no, panindigan mo ito. A manipulator will use all the tricks they can think of to try to get you to do something even after you say no. It's in the situation that you have to remember the basic right to say to no without feeling guilty. Be strong. Don't allow anyone to make you feel guilty. And stand your ground. If they keep badgering you and won't take no as an answer, then walk away and find a safe place to be. Pagpatuloy ka pa rin niyang kinukulit, ikaw na mismo ang lumayo at pumunta ka sa lugar na alam mo na hindi ka na niya susundan. Number three, keep your distance. One way to spot a manipulator is to see how person acts in front of different people and in different situations. Manipulators tend to live with extremes. 
being incredibly polite one minute and then suddenly becoming extremely rude or they will be totally helpless one moment and firstly aggressive the next ito yung mga taong madaling mag-switch ng mood mabait sa umpisa pero pag meron na siyang hindi nakuha or gusto nag-iiba ng mood when you observe extreme behaviors from someone on a regular basis keep a healthy distance and avoid being around the person unless you absolu- absolutely have to Kapag may nakita kang ganitong tao, ikaw na mismo ang lumayo, lalo na at wala ka naman kailangan sa kanila. Ikaw lang ang dumistansya. If you have to deal with them, such as in a work situation, make the interaction as brief as possible. Talk to them if it is about work-related. If hindi naman, huwag na natin kausapin. Ikaw na lumayo para hindi ka na maging gawing target. Number four, avoid self-blame. Since a manipulator's agenda is to look for and exploit your weaknesses, it is understandable that you may feel inadequate or even blame yourself for not satisfying the manipulator. In those situations, it is important to remember your self-worth and those basic human rights I mentioned before. It's also important to remember that you are not the problem. You're simply being manipulated to feel bad about yourself so that you're more likely to surrender your power and rights. Kasi ikaw ang nakakakilala sa sarili mo. Hindi mo naman kailangan ang opinion na ibang tao na magpapabago ng decision mo at the end. Basta alam mo na nasa tama ka at wala ka namang nasasaktang tao at sinusunod, sinusunod mo yung basic human rights. You don't need to feel guilty. Number five, put the focus on them. Inevitably, a manipulator will make requests or demands of you. When the manipulator asks you to do someone unreasonable, It's sometimes helpful to put the focus on back him or her by asking some question to see if she or he has enough self-awareness to recognize how unreasonable they're being. For example, does what you want from me seem fair? Does this seem reasonable to you? Do you really expect me to reinstate the request to do that? Would you do it if I ask you to. When you ask questions like this, you're putting up a mirror so the manipulator can see if they're being unreasonable. If the manipulator has any degree of self-awareness, he or she will likely withdraw the demand and back down. Again, if they don't back down, walk away and go to a safe place. In other way around, If you think you are the manipulator, please stop doing that. Don't abuse others for your own benefits. Don't use your power or authority to abuse others. Because we are all equal and everyone have a right to have a healthy and happy life. If you found this article helpful, please remember to share it with your family and friends on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Again, this topic, I got this from www.tireperspectives.com For us to be aware and never blame anyone in our life. Because at the end, na, nasa sa'yo pa rin yung final decision. If you will go to manipulative relationship or go to healthy social relationship or influence. Any decision you make in your life is your own decision, even if some people have an influence on it. At the end, you're still the one who make it. Always remember our basic human rights and don't try to argue with the manipulator kasi hindi ka naman mananalo sa kanila. Just leave them. Go to a safe place na hindi ka makukulit pa. To end the conversation and to avoid him or her totally. I'm also accepting inspiring stories of success, love, friendship, and family. Anyone who wants advice on their relationship, love, friendship, family, or in everyday life, I will try to help you and ask our listener for their opinion also. If there is no one whom you can talk to, I'm willing to listen. Feel free to comment and I will give you my email so you can send your stories. Thank you! Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I hope you enjoy our topic. See you again. Bye-bye!